part one of this two-part video series, I showed you how I use Excel to manage and monitor my postgraduate students' progress. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your own Excel spreadsheet quickly and simply so that you can manage and monitor your own postgraduate students using Excel. Open up a blank Excel spreadsheet and start by naming your columns. Let's say we want name, surname, and you can choose what information you would like to include here. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to keep it nice and simple, and you can use these same principles to build your own very complex Excel spreadsheet. Say we want the title, we want the study design, uh, maybe the topic area, and you can go on maybe the, the phase of the research journey that they're in, and you can go on and, you know, add a whole bunch of other details here as well. Now, if you look at your summaries, you want to put a you may want to summarize the number of students that you are currently supervising. Um, let's say you want a summary of the different study designs and you want a summary of the topic areas and the phases that the students are in. Now, the name, surname, student number, title, you can type in for each of the students. But when it comes to studies, the design, topic, area, and phase, you want a drop-down list, which will be quite nice. So let's see how we're going to do this. Let's start with phase. Go to data, and then search for something that says data validation. Data validation. Click on that. Here you want to get your information from a list, settings, list, and then go to source and click on this arrow. Now it's going to wait for you to, to tell it where you want this list to be imported from. Now on a separate sheet, I created a list for phase, protocol development, data collection, write-up, awaiting examination. So you just highlight that. And there you go. Click OK. And there you are. And you can choose from this drop down list. Now you want this to be relevant. Available right through. So just do that. And here we go. Now you can do the same with topic area and study design. But let's say now you would like to have a summary of the phases that each of your students are in. Um, yeah, I started. So for protocol development, there's four students in the protocol development phase, and for data collection, there's two. Now let's let me show you how I've done it. I used the count if function. So equal start typing count if it will bring up the option you can choose it and it tells you to specify the range and just highlight the cells which you want to include in this it tells you that it needs a formula a comma and thereafter it wants the criteria now the criteria you are going to write like this equals and let's call it right up and close the quotation marks. So let's just summarize. We have the range, we have a comma, a quotation mark, equal sign, the exact word as it appears here. So don't, if there's any type of spelling mistake, it won't pick it up. Close the quotation marks, close the bracket and press enter. Here you can see there's only one write-up in the selection. Let's just choose another write-up. There you go. And you see it changed to two. Let's do one more. Equals. Choose your count if. Choose your range. There we go. Add a comma. 
quotation marks equals what's left is a waiting examination. Close the quotation mark, close the brackets, and there we go. And you can put the summary together for each of these. Now, the last thing you want to do is you need to know how many students are under your supervision. So for that, we're going to use another function that says count A, choose your selection. So just highlight the number of cells that you want to include in the selection and press enter. Now you can see there's a zero because there's no names. Let's type in a few names. And there you go. It will give you a count of the number of students. Now, if you want to separate the students who have completed, those who have already graduated from the ones currently under your supervision, why not create another sheet? Let's call the sheet completed. And copy the entire sheet and paste it here. Now here you can call it your completed or graduated, whatever you want to call it. And you can, you can have separate summaries of all the students who have completed under your completed list. And you'll have your database here with your current students under currently under your supervision. I hope this helped. I know this can really become very complex. So I try to keep it simple in this video, but you do use these principles and apply it to your own Excel spreadsheet and go and build out the Excel spreadsheet, which will work for you. Have fun. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.